Hi. So in this video, we're going to show one more piece of the financial scenario builder, and that's the Farm Service Agency loan function. So this box here, if you click it, will tell you more about what the Farm Service Agency is and how it gives loans to farmers, and it will connect you to a very valuable guidebook that NYFC has put together to introduce beaming farmers to FSA loan programs. Also, the FSA website is linked right here in case you want to learn about, um, oh, about it from the source. So now adding an FSA loan is very similar to adding a regular bank loan. But you'll see this little drop down box here. So if you click that, it will show you the four ownership loans offered by the Farm Service Agency. So that's the direct ownership loan, which is just a standard loan with a maximum value up to $300,000. A micro loan, which is a smaller loan and has easier eligibility standards. A joint financing loan, which requires a matching loan with a bank. and down payment loan, which is specifically available for beginning farmers and minority and women farmers, which requires a 5% down payment and a bank loan for at least 50% of the property price. So it's sort of like a joint financing loan, but it does have a small down payment associated with it. And it's got a really great rate. So we can start simple with the direct ownership loan. Now the rates here are auto-generated from the Farm Service Agency website. So, and they're only current as of January 2018. So as we make future changes to the calculator, you'll see these updated. But they don't change very much month to month typically. And if you are looking for current rates just to see how accurate they are, there's a link right here that brings you right to the, the FSA page with the current rates. Okay, so we chose the direct ownership loan and you see the, the rate is locked, but the amortization period can be changed up to, I believe, 40 years. And we're gonna say we're paying for the whole property this way. So now you notice that when you add a regular loan, it tells you that you need a down payment. With the Farm Service Agency, at least direct ownership loan, you aren't required to make a down payment. So you can, you can finance the entire property without a cash down payment. Also, one thing to mention here is closing costs. So when you're buying property, there's always closing costs associated with it. But if you're using a farm service agency loan, as long as you're not all the way up to the loan max, you can finance those closing costs with FSA also. So instead of paying those, as a $4,000 cash payment, some of those closing costs can be added into your mortgage paid over time. So then just like with the regular loan, you could go down here and you can see what the payment is over time. Something else you'll notice here, and also in the regular loan box, is this option to refinance. Refinancing is very common with FSA loans because FSA is supposed to be a lender of last resort, they call it. Um, meaning that their loans are supposed to be limited to people who need their financing and can't find financing from a, a regular commercial bank. And so a, a goal of most um, FSA loan officers is to what they call graduate their, um, their loans into bank loans. So after a period when you've shown that you're credit worthy, when you've built up some equity in the property, they'll try to refinance your loan with a bank or help you refinance your loan with a bank. So the calculator accounts for that with this refinancing option. And so you might start off buying your property with a $200,000 ownership loan, 
but maybe you can expect that you're going to have to refinance with the bank at probably a higher interest rate after maybe 10 years. And maybe your interest rate there will be 5% and you probably won't get a, as long of an, of an amortization as that. You'll probably be looking at a, a shorter mortgage, a 30 year mortgage. So if you scroll down, the calculator shows you how that, how that change affects your monthly payment and also your overall cost. So you'll see that when you refinance with the bank, you're going to have a slightly higher payment. So that's just one way that you could use the calculator to do a little bit of um, financial planning that's a bit more realistic. We could try one of the other options. The microloan is pretty simple. It'll just work the same as direct ownership, except it's a lot smaller maximum. Let's look at the down payment loan. So now here you'll see that there's a couple errors, or a few errors. First, that you require a 5% down payment. So let's do this down payment. I'll say 5% of the farm cost. So you'd only be able to buy this property if you had $10,000 to put down. Let's see what our second error is. So you need a bank loan worth 50% of the property value or more, because in this type of loan, this down payment loan, FSA covers 45%. You cover 5% and a bank covers 50%. So let's add that bank loan for 100,000. And we'll say it's at a 5% rate. Okay, and this is just telling you that we had $200,000 in there and that's too much. So let's see. Conveniently, this, this little calculator on the right tells you how much is left to pay. So we'll just use that to do our math. Okay. So that satisfies all the requirements there. We still have the closing costs, taxes, and insurance in there. And here's the difference in our scenario. So again, if you notice, the other scenarios we were paying off over a 40-year amortization period, this one's only 30. And while the monthly payment is a little bit higher now at the beginning, after 20 years, which is the term of that, of the FSA portion of the loan, this payment goes down because you're only paying the bank loan. So those are the different ways that you could use this FSA loan function to build an FSA loan financing scenario using the calculator.